We purchased a pair of Renishaw AM500Q Ultra machines, which are SLM selective laser melting machines that build powder additive parts with lasers. These machines have four lasers and have the unique ability to mark while recoding or melt while recoding, uh, which improves their process efficiency. We've been looking at these machines for about 16 years in this process, but the machines are quite expensive. They cost something like three to six conventional CNC machines. And so the barriers to entry are quite high. There's a lot of concern over intellectual property and development in real time being shared with other companies that are doing contract work with many other companies and who might themselves also have their own house brands. You know, bringing the technology in the house was important to us because we don't want to share all of our work. We're in a very competitive marketplace. These machines allow us to, with greater economy, work in exotic materials. So this is a means of bringing exotic materials into the suppressor. And it's also a means of bringing geometries that are not easy to machine into the silencer product. They, of course, have their own benefits and limitations versus the traditional methods. So they're not an unlimited ability to be free with geometry, but they are a means of doing certain things like producing a lot of holes for very little or no additional cost, for example. These machines help bridge the skills gap in the country. Teachers have been suggesting students go to college and almost disrespecting the skilled trades. And at this point, you know, you can see on the national level, the government is saying we need to bring manufacturing back to our country. And that's because they see a tragic shortage of manufacturing personnel and after decades of government incentivized outsourcing of our production, we're at a critical national defense crisis where we need to bring that manufacturing back. And additive is seen as a means of accomplishing that because it doesn't require skills to be quite as high to produce the parts. However, behind every additive machine, those skilled laborers with the CNC machines still need to do post-process operations, those parts to make them usable. So this doesn't eliminate, it only slightly improves the prognosis. And these machines have products that they support well and products that they don't support as well, because obviously the four lasers can only deposit material at the speed that they can, which is something like 150 cubic centimeters an hour. And those performance specifications are complicated and only the manufacturers really understand what they mean. The builds take 16 to 18 hours approximately in production. These machines are currently state-of-the-art, notwithstanding that SLM has been around for, I want to say, something like 15 years to maybe two decades. Obviously, every technology takes a long time to mature, so the fact that something's been around a long time doesn't exactly indicate whether it is currently state-of-the-art or not. Uh, a lot of companies have been made and ruined in the process of developing this technology. And the, the ranch shop people have, have mentioned that they don't believe that every shop will have one of these even in 20 years' time. So from that perspective, it's neat to be able to be working with such a state-of-the-art technology. Obviously, huge amounts of, of research and development have gone into this field with a number of companies, many of which don't exist anymore, which speaks to Renishaw, their quality and their development, that they are one of the providers that we had confidence to work with.